My name is Zachary. I go to Austin Road Elementary and I'm in the fourth grade. I'm Mr. Zer, fourth grade Road Elementary. And I'm Lois Barney, the principal at Austin Road Elementary School. The biggest difference is being on your own and looking at the schedule for assignments. If I have a question, I use the chat on Go Guardian. You can see your member and you can help each other when you need help. When you are at home, then you have to message or assign Google Meet time with your group. I miss being able to socialize with my friends and participating in specials. I miss my basketball team and my teachers, and I miss participating in student council, beta club, and student ambassador. What I like the most is we get extra time to complete assignments. And if we miss an assignment, then on Friday we can catch up. We can work ahead on assignments and do not have to wait on others to complete assignments. I like Google Meets because Ms. Mosler shows us the many lesson and how to complete the HMH assignments book at home. One thing I have done is schedule reading groups, times with my Lion Cub group, where we take turns reading through the chapters together and having discussion. We type in our summary together. We discuss the chapters being read. For math, we work on our HMH and learning maps together, just like we would in the classroom. Hmm. To be a leader means you are hardworking, dedicated to completing your assignments by helping others and setting a positive example for others. One thing that Zachary does consistently throughout the school day is set that positive example for the classroom and for the school uh, community as well. I'm super proud of Zachary and Miss Mosier for their hard work in making sure that we are staying connected with our families as well as staying connected with our students. So Zachary, great job being a leader. I'm super proud of you. Miss Mosier still allow us to work with each other. We have our own session time to group chat to help each other with reading, math, and portfolios. I think it's still fun to, to talk to each other other and work like we did in class. My advice would be to work ahead on assignments. When you can, ask teachers for help when you need it. Stay organized by looking at the schedule and staying on task throughout the week. I do the assignments in order on the schedule to help me stay on task. When I need help, I ask my parents or brother to help me with assignments if needed. My brother helped me with the HMH math assignment. My mom helped me submit assignments and send pictures or evidence to Ms. Moser. For the parents as well, is being that we have been using the Google Classroom, we've tried to make sure that we've put all the resources in one location. That way the parents can, see, can be organized with just having everything in one location and then also just being available for those parents' flexibility throughout the day because not all parents are able to be at home with their students at this time, so they may have to have lessons later in the day. So um, being teachers being able to post those lessons as well to the Google Classroom is would be really helpful for the parents that may still be working and not working from home. And another thing with Zachary is he has been a great leader for his group. He has consistently asked me, can we um, do a meeting, um, ask for separate meet, meeting links for that group to chime in to do their reading book because they're currently doing. Uh, they've been working on their learning map assignments together as well as like book reports and social studies and science assignments as well. So he's a true leader in getting others to be organized just like he is. For teachers, we are extremely proud. Um, we had a short time to pull the remote learning plan together. But when I say that our teachers have worked dedicated to ensure that our students are getting what they need, um, and just recording lessons, as Ms. Moser said, so that parents have access to them anytime they want to. So if a parent gets off at five o'clock and they say that, okay, in my schedule, we're gonna sit and we're gonna work together from seven to eight, then they have that autonomy to do that because the lesson has been recorded for the student to access anytime they need to. 
So I just give kudos to my teachers for an outstanding job with making sure that students have the opportunity to access learning at all times.